Ah, another fine evening of me sitting down and making content. Pepsi in hand, or on the desk. Plastic toilet sat on top of my computer system, which sounds like a Dyson. Next to the fridge freezer known as the PS5. I can't believe there are five pusses in it. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of technology, I did have a package that was said to arrive today, but um, I don't know where it's at though. Delivery for the weird tall lanky man. Huh? Oh, th that must be it. Here is the box. It is a box. And a special box, in fact, because inside this cardboard case is none other than me. My Bluetooth speakers for the new monitor. <laughs> Thanks for letting me out of there. Those delivery men were digging into my hair with tape and bubble wrap. But, 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 but,
Also, can I just say, before I go on, I just want to be clear that Lillian almost ended up higher because she pretty much sums up exactly what the entire sequel of this sex adventure is. There's no point. So in the end, I went with Ashley because I think she'll kill me if I didn't. A major key point to know is that Ashley is the first character you see in Honey Pop 2. And let me just tell you something. The game does not get any better. Yes, you even see this character just before the main star Q shows up. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I preferred you in your first game than I did in your second. That's just my opinion. Like, she wasn't bad, she wasn't amazing, I just think there was missed potential. Aiko is just a Tesco version of Ashley, I think Leilani deserves to be in there as well because she's the most, um, sensible person in there. I think Kiana's a pretty cool character as well, I like the sports enthusiasm that she's got. And I kind of put Venus in there for the meme because if there was a character that I would say would be my love goddess, it would be Venus. Fuck off, I wouldn't get on with Candice, but let's just face it, she deserves to be up in great because of how funny she is. Having Nora up there as, like, her drug dealer is just fucking hilarious. I don't know what it is about Celeste that made me put her in great, but let's just face it, she's a Martian from another planet, and I'm already taken as it is, so, uh, you can stay there. Bendelson, on the other hand. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is, yeah? It's her bloody voice. It's the freaking voice that I just can't stand. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Yeah! This is a genuine question, yeah? How can you get to age 30 doing this voice? I mean, surely it's not good for your throat, right? Also, she has a penis as well. Which makes her an addition to the game. Why exactly? Do me a favor. And then there's Tiffany, which was the character I was hoping to see in uh, Honey Pop 2, but instead we've got this lump of shit. Also, not to brag, but she would have been higher on this list if her name started with a G and not a T. And then there's this lot. I'm not going to go into too much depth about this category, but I will say about Audrey is that, yeah, you're a bitch. You're a, you're a, you're a massive bitch. Fuck off! In fact, there's so many inconsistencies with these characters that I just feel like I should just get them over and done with altogether. All Nikki is just the blandest character I think I've ever seen in any video game whatsoever. Lola just looks like she's wearing a crusty turd on her head. Abia is too much of a pervert to even think that she is a pervert. Belly is just Abia, but probably the most forgettable character to even exist in this realm. I know I've said this before, but Audrey, you are a massive bitch. And you know the Zoe from Sesame Street? Yeah, she's better than you. You know that guy from Jurassic Park? Yeah, I think he said it best about you. That is one big pile of shit. Get out of my game, you milky milf. You are a degenerate. You are just too strict to even like me. And you're also a bitch. And then there's Sarah. Piss off. I hate you. And I'll tell you why. Because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is my number one most annoying video game character I have ever seen to exist of all time. Fuck this character. And every time I see her enter on an endless date with that fucking warning sign as a baggage, I'm going to snap. Bro, I'm telling you, the amount of times this annoying little shitbag decided to ruin my runs for me has been off the scale. If my kid looked like that, I'd swap the kid out for another one. Piss off and have a bath. We're moving on. Next tier list. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that back in the day, I used to do a lot of Garden Warfare 2 content. Like, don't get me wrong, I still do it, it's just that it's usually off camera because the video usually ends up looking like crap most of the time because of how many people there are toxifying the lobbies. Come on, man. Oh. I can assure you that this tier list is about to piss at least one person off. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. Everyone? Meet Z7 Imp. If he was rogue legal, he'll be all wheel drive. Don't worry, th there is more to this tier list, it's just all the way down there. I just want to make a quick disclaimer that this is just based around my personal opinion on how the game was meant to be experienced for me. I didn't just rank these out of sheer curiosity saying that, oh, actually, EP's actually the best. Why didn't you just rank him higher? No, he is not, you fucking knob. And due to how many EP mains there are in this game, that's why I went with Z7. But surely, if Z7 is without the doubt the best character on zombies, then the best character on plants should be A 
Agent P. Because truth be told, ladies and gentlemen, that Agent P is without a doubt the identical copy of Z7. He is literally the exact same guy, just with slightly more damage on crit. The only reason why I decided not to rank him above Z7 is because I think his DPS is slightly lower. That's why I put him there. Party Corn is just busted as fuck. That's why I put him there. Law P is just Agent P but with six shots and high DPS. Cactus Basic, on the other hand, as well as being my favourite character of the entire game, or as people like to call her, the Mighty Egg! I personally think this character is what EP should have been, which is probably the main reason why I've knocked him down a few places. <laughs> She is an exception of being worthy to claim that spot as a genuine masterpiece of a character, whereas he can go fuck himself. As far as soldiers go, I kind of just stuck them all in the same tier, because without a doubt, they're just all as good as each other. Why have I put Sky Trooper there? What am I, an idiot? <laughs> yeah, I think they're all just good as each other, except for Scuba Soldier, which I think he's slightly better than every one of them. And of course, let's not forget our love boy mechanic. Basically, what he is, he's just a fat foot soldier with engineer abilities. <laughs> I just want to say this again. This is just based around my point of view on who goes where on this list. Yes, I do think these two twat twins are just as good as each other. Yes, I do think Captain Cannon is worse than every foot soldier because he requires less work. Yes, I do think Chemist deserves to go up there as well because I think he's the best scientist out of the lot. Some people seem to think that Computer's the best scientist, but... I mean, he's there as well. To be honest, it was kind of hard to decide on who was better in this instance out of all of the scientists in the game, but in the end, I went with Chemist because he is my boy. Should we talk a bit about sunflowers before we move on? Can I just say one thing? I fucking love Vampire Flower. I don't care what anybody says, she is my babe. Ooh. Oh, now you've just spotted that. Oh, there's going to be a lot of people not happy about this decision, isn't there? I just want to take a moment to look at the tier list and see who I've ranked Cosmic Brains above. This includes Neck Rose, Party Rose, Pops Corn, Hot Rod Chomper, Twilight Chomper, Welder, Toxic P, Electro Citron, Captain Flame... F what was his name? Captain Fuckner? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think Cosmic Brains is better than all of them. And if anybody in the comments below says that Cosmic Brain sucks, then you can go fuck. Uh, don't get me wrong, he's not the best SB. Like, there are ways to counter him. But due to the amount of sweaty people there are in these lobbies, I just can't bear myself to play this game anymore. Use code unbeatable at checkout to get 5% off your order. Fuck's sake. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this tier list, I want to talk about Drake and why he's so far down. Because truth be told, ladies and gentlemen, he's, um, he's not very good. Yeah, I actually think he's the worst imp in the game. Do you want to know what it is yet? It's the mech. It's the fucking mech I can't stand. I mean, all of this wouldn't be so bad. But then you start to look at the lobbies and see that 99.9% .9 of the people in the lobby play him. And I'm just sitting there on my chair with my controller in hand and I'm like, why? Why, why do people tend to pick this six-year-old anyway? You know what's actually funny about this is that if your parents didn't know who little Drake was and you actually went up there and said to him, Mom, 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 I want to play as little Drake! Then they're obviously thinking you're going into migration. Oh, actually, I do know why people play him, because he's the- Dragon! So, uh... <laughs> Should we talk about the messy pants? <laughs> yeah, I picked these four. Genuine F-tier characters, and here's why. Hello? Rock P is just another crusty turd that does negative damage to everything in his path. Metal Petal would have been so much better if she didn't move at the same pace our old people shag. This guy could just shut the fuck up, he's terrible. And Chomp Thing, in my personal opinion, is the worst character in this game, and here's why. I personally have never been a big fan of anybody in these bottom two tiers, and arguably Armor Chomper should be the worst character, right? No. Yes, he still moves slow, but he has a very powerful bite that does 50 damage. This guy does seven. <laughs> and he's a spray chomper. So in Queen's English, how the fuck does that make sense? Well, I mean, beats me to say this any day of the week. I hope you've enjoyed this episode because uh, it took me quite a long time to film it, even though I past that said mark anyway. I gotta go because my throat's killing me and uh, I don't want to talk any longer. What a bunch of bastards. Before I go, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me along the way. I can assure you that the mustard mix and the sprunky review wouldn't have happened unless all of you didn't motivate me. So massive thanks. I've got more Incredibox mixes and reviews in the works as well as a bunch of other stuff that I want to get um 
uh, over and done with. Yes, Giffany will be there as well for anybody who does miss her. I'm not sure why anybody would ever, to be honest. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, turn on the notification bell in. Thanks always for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.